Hey guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video. And again, this week we're going to talk some NFL as NFL Week 10 is coming up. And I've highlighted the big game going on in the NFC West that's going to see the San Francisco 49ers take on the Seattle Seahawks there in Northern California. So, guys, you can check that out in just a second. Uh, but if you would like to go over to the Z Code System blog and find out some more, uh, great picks, and to read up on this big game that's coming up between the Niners and the Seahawks, you can do that. You can go over there. Uh, we've got three picks we've outlined this week in our blog. I'm going to tell you about two of them here in the video, so you're going to have to go over and to uh, read up on the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Dallas Cowboys to get that pick uh, and prediction. And I'm going to tell you about two other games. Uh, of course, you can see all of our other uh, items going on there at the website. You can see the UEFA Champions League picks that we have up on the website and some of the different contests that Z-Code System is running uh, coming up. And as you can see there, the, Ch the Cash Championship NFL King 2010. So guys, go over to the website and get all of your picks and read up on the blog. Now, let's head over and check out these VIP picks at the VIP wall. Okay, so the first game that we're going to talk about this week, NFL Week 10, is the Los Angeles Chargers going at it with the Oakland Raiders in Oakland. And this is a big AFC West game. And the Chargers, we all know, in L.A., not drawing fans, doing very poorly uh, in that sense after they left San Diego to move north. And the big news this week is uh, a potential or rumored move of the Chargers going to London, NFL wanting to have that team in London for quite some time now, and there's the idea that the Chargers could be the team to relocate uh, over there. Um, I've heard the Bills could also be that team. Uh, that's uh, another story, and that goes along with their stadium issues. But the Chargers being rumored right now uh, by a couple of uh, different sources this week moving to London uh, due to their different uh, attendance problems. But the Chargers are burning hot right now, as you can see there. After a three-game losing streak, the Chargers have now won back-to-back -back games uh, and they did that against the Chicago Bears, and they did that against the Green Bay Packers last week uh, in week number nine. Uh, as you can see there, the Chargers are 16th overall in offense, uh, sixth in passing right now. And uh, as you can see there, uh, the Chargers played 26-11 win over the Packers, and that was a, a huge win because the Packers were playing so well. Uh, and Aaron Rodgers, for me, was the uh, at the time uh, the MVP pick. Uh, for the season, I, I was putting my uh, my money behind Aaron Rodgers, and of course, he could still go on and win that. And as you can see there, the Chargers did uh, beat the Bears by a single point uh, in in the game before that. Now, the Raiders are coming off of a win over the Detroit Lions, also playing in the uh, a team in the NFC North, uh, but two straight losses uh, prior to that. Uh, the Raiders going in average at the moment. Now, as you can see here, our score prediction for the Chargers twenty eight. Uh, Raiders 17. That's a, that's a pretty good scoreline pick. Now, this is a game that's going to be played on Thursday night, uh, and it will be played in Oakland. So, you know, I think you got to give Oakland a bit of uh, a bit of respect for playing at home. Um, but as you can see here, the Chargers have won four straight games against the Oakland Raiders, uh, with two of those happening in Oakland. So, the Chargers have had Oakland's number as of late, and I am going to back the Chargers on this game. I like uh, what they've done in these last two games, as you can see, burning hot Raiders average. And coming off that big win against the Packers, I think the Chargers can get a third straight win and maybe position themselves into a, a possible playoff place. They're chasing the Chiefs right now in the AFC West. Chiefs came from behind to, to pick up a win against the Vikings last weekend. Um, but the Chargers are chasing them, and you know they could catch them once they uh, square off once more, and uh, as long as the Chargers can keep winning. So I'm back from the Chargers in this game. I think they're going to win uh, against the Oakland Raiders at home, or sorry, uh, on the road on Thursday night. Now, let's look at one other game this week, and we're going to look at that 49ers game uh, as, they take on the San, or as they take on the Seattle Seahawks at home. And as you can see there, we've got the Seahawks and the San Francisco's uh, San Francisco 49ers going out. This is the number one and two teams in the NFC West. And as you can see, both teams burning hot. 49ers 8-0, playing brilliantly right now. 
Uh, Seahawks, I believe, 7-2 and two going into this game. And uh, as you can see right there, uh, back-to-back wins over the Buccaneers and the Falcons. Now, those aren't the toughest teams in the NFL, but you can only beat what's put in front of you. Uh, and as you can see, the Seahawks did already beat uh, the Rams a few uh, earlier uh, in early October uh, before going on to lose to the Ravens at home. So the Seahawks doing well at the moment. Uh, the Niners, like I said, 8-0. and They come in off of wins over the Cardinals and the Panthers in the last two weeks. And I really like the San Francisco team and the way that Jimmy Garoppolo is playing. And uh, more importantly, the defense, or the defense is playing really well right now for San Francisco. As you can see here, I've highlighted this. Just 12.75 points per game the defense is giving up. Uh, to their opponents. Now, the Seahawks are giving up 25.6 points per game. And I think this is going to see, uh, we're going to see here a very strong defensive performance from the 49ers going to shut down Russell Wilson and that Seahawks offense. And uh, I'm going with the 49ers in this. Uh, As you can see here, 31 to 22. Maybe the Niners could hold the Seahawks to fewer points than that because as we know, they are only giving up 12.75 uh, per game. Now, let's you look at the head-to-head between these two teams. I'll scroll down here before we uh, before we put this one to bed. And as you can see, the last two games have been won by the home team. Uh, last December, the Niners picking up that win, 26-23 in overtime there in San Francisco. Uh, but really, Seattle has uh, had their number um, in recent seasons. But again, I love what the Niners are doing right now. They're coming off of uh, another big win, 8-0, burning hot. The defense uh, the defense is number one in the NFL right now. And uh, Seattle do have the fourth best offense, but defense wins championships. And uh, I'm going with the 49ers on this one to beat the Seattle Seahawks there in San Francisco. So that's my pick. Now, guys, of course, as I said earlier, you can go over to the website, read the blog that we have posted there, and you can get the picks for or the pick for the upcoming Minnesota Vikings Dallas Cowboys game, which is going to go on this weekend. Uh, big game right there between an NFC East team and an NFC North team. Vikings uh, chasing the Packers, so can they win and uh, get uh, a little bit closer to that first place there in the NFC North, and uh, as well as make a make a run at the playoffs. So, guys. Good luck this week with your sports betting and investment. Uh, Go over to our YouTube page and like this video as well as uh, comment on this video and let us know what you think. Let us know what games you're watching, what teams you're backing, what teams are doing it for you in your sports investments this year, and maybe what are some of your picks. So let us know those, guys, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. So good luck this weekend, guys. NFL Week 10, and we will see you next week here at Z-Code System.